Hello, everybody. I made a fun intro. I hope you guys like that. It's time for some, uh-oh, hot dog and some wackadoodle and everything else. Um, today, as you saw from the title here, we are going to talk about uh, protests, protesting, what is it, um, and why it's important. So, uh, yeah. I, uh, this is so important. I want to just start at the beginning here. Let's talk about human history for a second. Okay. Um, now I don't know everything about history. I know a little bit, but let's just take the power of protests throughout human history for just a like hot second. Okay. Um, firstly, uh, the most famous protest that we all like to celebrate here. Um, of course, is the Boston Tea Party, where a bunch of people uh, got together and they decided, you know what? I don't like them taxes no more. I'm taking your tea and I'm tossing it into the bay. And Massachusetts is basically the same still. They don't like you. They're going to toss you into the bay. Okay. So that protest sparked, you know, was the start of what, uh, why we're all here. And it well, not we, there's people from all over the world watching. Um, but America, Merca, right? That was the first like Merca protest, okay? And then, you know, prior to that, protest actually goes back to um Martin Luther, the original, who did not like what was happening in his church, was like, I don't know about that, and gathered up a bunch of his followers. And they put like commandments that they believed in as Christians up on all the houses. These flyers in the ye olden times when they're probably written out by fountain pen or a quill or something like that on parchment and just tacking it up everywhere in the town. And then some people were like, hey, I agree with you. That's awesome sauce. And other people were like, dude, get, get lost, get out of town. And that is how. Uh, the Lutheran movement started, guys, was from protesting. We have an entire religion that are just protesters, the Lutherans, right? And he's credited with actually, you know, like the OG protests. Now, let's be honest, there's probably protests that took place long before that. Every time in human history that we do not like something, we rise up and we tell more people about it, okay? That's why we have women's right to vote. That's why we have uh, you know, uh, e voting in this country, period. That's why, uh, you know, we have civil rights. The civil rights movement was one long ass protest. Um, the Vietnam War stopped because of the protests that were happening everywhere. Uh, they couldn't not listen anymore that the American people did not want to be there. We had to accept an L guys. We accepted the L in Vietnam because People weren't going to go. People were protesting. They were burning their draft cards. They were like, no. This is how, in human history, we get shit done. We gather together and we say, no more of that. Okay? And that is the brief, uh, uh, very bridged, not the unabridged, um, history of protesting. Okay? Now, um, I want to say that it, it is key what is happening right now. I know that there has been a lot of dissonance and, you know, kerfluffles and accusations about the people who are protesting and why they're doing it. And they're making millions of dollars protesting and all of this other nonsense. Okay. Um, The difference between like the 1970s and now, or even the 80s, where we had more huge protests to end other things like breaking down the the wall in Germany, uh, Tiananmen Square. I mean, there's it. The protests go on and on and on. I participated in a huge protest um, in 2017. Uh, I was in Washington D.C. And there was only supposed to be like 20,000 women there protesting. And there ended up being close to a million 
So that was a wild time. So protest makes a statement. It tells people, hey, pay attention. This is important. So um, I just want to bring up here that, uh, let's see here. There we go. Look at me, guys. I'm like a pro now. Just going to show you my screen and we'll get started here. So this is the definition of protesting from the Oxford Dictionary as a noun, a statement or action expressing disapproval or of or objection to something, right? So that's what we're doing, obviously, uh, you know, in, in this, that's what our protests are, right? Is an objection to uh, Scientology and our disapproval of that, okay? Um, and then um, we go to the verb, okay? Um, express an objection to what someone has said or done. So that's the action of protesting, right? That's the marching around. Um, my videos could be considered online protests. Um, and then we have, you know, the people who are out there every day. Oops, sorry, banging around. Handed out flyers, um, using their bullhorns, using their voices, using signs, all these things to do the action of protesting, right? Um, then we have, what happened to my thing here? This got weird. There we go. Okay. Now, just make that bigger for you guys. So then we're going to rewind to the beginning of Scientology protesting here for a second. Um, we're going to remember that this has been going on the whole time, okay? People have been protesting and speaking out and having a disagreement with Scientology since basically the beginning, okay? Um, since Elrond started his little, uh, you know, lecturing and wrote Dianetics and was traveling around like a little carny uh, delivering these things in lecture halls, people have risen up in those neighborhoods and places and countries to say, uh-uh, no, 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 not here. We don't like. Um, he's, you know, Scientology doesn't exist in Germany. Why? The whole country kicked it out, okay? Um, Elrond was kicked out of Africa. Why? Because he tried to take over a country and they were like, sir, uh, this is a Wendy's, okay? You can't. So then, of course, the most, you know, we've had a lot of people come out and speak out over time. OK, um, and, and they have created it, like many little like flashbang protests until, of course, we had Anonymous, right? Anonymous, the big bad wolf of protesters. They were just everywhere and they were nowhere. OK, and um, it, let me let me play you guys a little video about how that impacted everybody here. All right. Let's. Oh, no, I want it. Oh for crying in a bucket. Wouldn't be alive that I'm doing if like the technology doesn't go awry. Here we go. All right. There she is. Okay, here we go. The top story today is invariably anonymous. Let's recap. Remember now? First, you have the Scientologists, including Tom Cruise, John Travolta, Lisa Marie Presley, and Sonny Bono. Rest in peace, Sonny. Then over here, you've got the bloggers who believe in free speech and say pretty much anything. Well, the bloggers started saying some stuff that the Scientologists didn't like very much, which, funnily enough, was what the Scientologists had said in the first place. Taking freedom of speech quite seriously, Anonymous struck out against the Scientologists, generating international news for both organizations, while also generating a great deal of entertaining content. Let's just very quickly exactly what she just said. So people went out, said the words that are in Scientology and Scientology is like, no, 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 you can't, uh, you can't do that. Right. You can't just, uh, say the stuff we're saying, like, that's not cool. Right. So it's, it's insane to me that, um, you know, that is, that is how they're doing it. That is what they think is okay. And they are like severely um, misguided. But this is what they always, uh, to use a Scientology term, 
flap about, okay? This is the upset that someone else out here is saying Scientology, okay? And that originates, guys, from the fact that no one but an authorized Scientology dealer, okay? And by dealer, I mean uh, Scientology pusher, uh, auditor, uh, you know, uh, there are no priests, even though all the auditing folders are stamped priest pentient privileged. Um, yeah, that's not, um, it's a lie, but they are ministers, right? Ministers in Scientology and, um, you know, Scientology authorities, the, the fake space Navy people and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So as long as one of those people internally is saying Scientology words in the Scientology way, with the Scientology accent, um, everything's hunky-dory. Because why? Because they're getting paid. The money is coming into Scientology. If somebody were to pick up a copy of Dianetics and deliver Dianetics in their, uh, you know, their area without giving a portion of those profits that they're receiving to Scientology, they're a squirrel, okay? because they are not authorized, they are not tithing up to the, the leader, to everyone else, okay? Um, and that is the real problem, because if Scientology is about making all mankind free, clearing the planet, all that stuff, then just get, oh, I hit myself, just get books into the hands of people and let them do it. Wouldn't that be the solution? If this is the truth, this is the the ultimate truth, just the greatest thing ever, then just hand them out like Oprah and get people reading it and doing it. What's the problem? Well, part of the problem is this. Now, this is a page out of the Scientology Technical Dictionary, okay? And you'll see in here, there's something called a protest read. Oh, I'm... Am I sharing that? I'm not sharing that. There we go. Now you guys can see it. What is going on here today? All right. So um, this is a protest read. So a protest read is an item possibly already run is seen to read. That means it has a reaction on the meter. So if I say, um, if I'm asking a question, do you have uh, an upset? And I get a read on that. Upset, right? Upset. I'm trying to make an instant read. I messed it up. But anyway, I get a read on that question. Um, and then the PC frowns, right? The person being audited is the PC. He is protesting and the meter is registering the protest. It's registering this upset. Not the item. A protest almost never blows down the TA. So the TA is one of those little dials on the um, on the meter that controls where the needle is. So if the needle is like going this way a lot, that is a blowdown. That means that the you found the right thing and it's like, oh, that's it. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. It's like if you hit the jackpot in a casino. If the TA is going up, 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 and you have to crank that dial to keep the needle on the screen, that means you're <laughs> you're overwhelming uh, the the person being audited, and they're getting more upset. But a protest read is very specific, and so you find out and you ask, "What are you protesting?" Um, and then protesting something is an indicator always that you are hiding something. You're not being seen. Don't look at this, which means it tells the auditor in their auditor training that um, you are a bad person. You have crimes. You're not telling. So protest in Scientology itself is criminal. Okay. It means, uh, uh oh, hot dog, you are. Uh, in bad shape, right? Um, so it is uh, not a good thing to be protesting, having protested, being that way on the e-meter, any of those things, okay? So 
um, you don't want that. So now, what is the most effective tool that we have against Scientology? Okay, what is it? It's the protests, right? So if you think about that, it's kind of ironic because this is another way that Scientology has programmed all of the people on the inside that something that has been used throughout human history, specifically in America, to effect change is evil, wrong, bad. Okay, so why do they get so upset when someone's outside protesting? Why do they accuse all of the protesters of having crimes of, and then they come out with these ridiculous things? Because that is what they are trained to know. It's not just like, oh, I, I, this person's probably a, a, a dirtbag because they're standing outside my church wanting me to fail. It's like, I, I keep doing that. I'm not thumbs upping anything. Uh, I know it to be a fact because it's Scientology and all of Scientology is correct, right? So it gets a little convoluted in there. So then now organically, what has happened recently? Okay. First, uh, you know, and this is the, I'm just going to tell this history real quick. So Aaron's been rolling along on his channel for the last seven plus years, just bump it, a 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 bump, making content, educating the masses about Scientology. Okay. Then, um, you know, more people came. Uh, I came back to YouTube after a, you know, a, a five year hiatus. Um, and, and, we're here now. So what changed? What's what's the different formula here? What changed is our friend Streets LA, aka uh, Scientology Audit, aka Film the Police, who's been doing this for years, filming police and reporting exactly what's going on, telling the people who are getting falsely arrested what to do, getting badge numbers, documenting the corruption in Los Angeles of the LAPD for years since his son uh, was murdered. And then they just tried to sweep it under the rug. So he wanders by the Scientology's test center because it gets put on his radar. Hey, did you know there's a connection between the LAPD and Scientology? And he's like, that's curious. I'm going to look into that. So he approached the test center observed their crikadoodle, you know, wheel. And what did they do? They Scientologyed him. Did they, you know, come out and have a, a great conversation and do a good roads, good weather and like handle him? No, absolutely not. You know why? Probably. I thought about this a lot. Why didn't they just you know, send somebody from the president's office down to talk to him. He has a huge following. He would fall under the category of a celebrity, right? Why didn't they, why didn't they just do that? Maybe because 99% of his com, you know, content up to then was exposing the LAPD. And maybe the LAPD for once called Scientology and was like, hey guys, uh-oh, hot dog, this guy? bad news bears. You need to put him on your list, whatever that thingy is. And, and so that's what they did. They returned the favor. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. And here we are. So because of him, he made that popular. You can all sing the Wicked song now. Okay. I know it's in all of your heads. And then we have all the other TikTokers that started showing up. Jessica, Cam, uh, Chris, and the other Chris, and, uh, you know, Audit LA, uh, Hollywood, Aja, like all of those people who are, P.S., what are they? Oh, they're not even ever been in Scientology. Did they show up because it was trending? Yes. Did they stay for the after party because Scientology did what again? Oh, they scientology them. Like, they don't learn. Okay. And here we are. These guys got kicked off of TikTok. Did that stop them? Did they go, well, I've been kicked off TikTok. I guess it's over now. No, they just 
blew up their YouTubes. Okay? Because it's important. It's important. And yes, I get a teeny tiny bit of money, guys, from creating this content because I don't have, you know, a, a million followers. Once you have a million followers, sure, you're going to make, you know, the cheddar. It's raining from the sky. I would love that. That's not the case, okay? These guys had a much bigger following that they were bringing over to YouTube. If they're making money because they are standing day after day after day telling the world, their followers, and real-life people passing by them, hey, this is a cult. Don't go in there. They're going to they're gonna, you know, try and take your money and they're not gonna let you leave. Like there's all these people, you should go check them out that have been talking about how they were like trapped there. It's like crazy. I love that. Why? Why do I love that? Do I want people inside the buildings to feel intimidated or scared or upset? Here's the deal. They are inside the gilded halls of a multi-billion dollar cult. Some of them, walked in there willingly as adults and were like, this sounds awesome. I'm going to, I'll take two and throw me a, a, you know, a shot back of extra crazy sauce on the OT levels. I love it. Right. They signed up for the whole wackadoodle bat, you know, buffet. Some of them, as we know, that have actually stopped to talk to people have been there 50 years. Okay. At this point, they know what they're doing. They have disconnected from dozens of people. They have thrown away their own children. They have thrown away their parents. They know what they're dedicated to. Okay. The thing that needs to stop and that we are protesting is children cannot consent. They should not be enslaved and put into a work labor situation and uh the elderly abuse that's there we got to handle that additionally the 501c3 status that is blanketing them in the constitution and this you know effect uh for this religious status that they have needs to go because they are not a religion they are not providing services to the the public at large or benefiting society at large okay they are a money making scam that is designed to create a fascist utopia for white men that's it i uh, sorry if you're if you're a scientologist under the radar and you didn't know that i i just burst your bubble i apologize for spoiling the ending um but that's it Okay, so that is what is so important about these protests. Now, uh, if you're not subscribed currently to Fluffer Squirrel UK, I really want everybody to go and give them a subscribe. I'm going to share a page here um, from them right now. And uh, they have done the painstaking work of creating an entire catalog of all of the protesters and Scientology content creators. Okay. So they have a category here, traveling auditors. Um, we've got self of self, Danny's impact, PTS for life, uh, moose on the loose, Natalie, Denver, uh, Scientology audit, silly squirrel declared Dave Keith one Oh three, but first coffee, Susie Oberholtz, um, and gypsy, uh, Mimi Scientology audit, right? And then in LA, this is the crew in LA. Uh, Laura FM, literally Surge, Tori Magoo, literally Michael, Scientology audit, Jacob Harkey, Jessica Palmadessa, Confidence Chris, Chris without a Hellcat, that's the two Chris's, Mismanage, LA Cam, Audit LA, Iconoclast Gypsy, that is DOA. The lore of DOA has two channels. Uh, Danny's Impact again, Supportive Leah, uh, Aja Extravaganza, that's Hollywood Aja. Um, drones, drones and stuff, Tao, Spitology, Mindy Willens, Ween LA, Cuts E, I don't know who that actually is. Um, Help Me Film Them, Solomon Streets, Chikikana, uh, Dan Walks LA, Sense of Sassafras, 
Zachary Obama and a BS incinerator, right? Then we have all the smaller outlets there. There's somebody that's going to start doing it in Sacramento. We have Pasadena protester, uh, MDM Media, FCP on Scientology in San Diego, Heather in the Library in Phoenix, more fun than sitting at home in Ventura, in Portland, of course, uh, my dear friend, Liz Gale. Hey, Carrie Ann, uh, Lisa's day off, Mike. 5033, Rika PDX, NatBat27, and Portland Supporter. In San Francisco, we have uh, Mama Catone, Scientology Traffic. In Seattle, we have SPTV, Zenu uh, News. Yes, Zenu, Zenu Seattle. I'm, I'm murdering that. Great Catsby, Moose on the Loose again. And of course, in Denver, we have the Denver Scientology Audit, Mexican Long Hair, Sweet Sun Sleece, TCD, the Oh, the trial files, sorry, um, and Corewood. And then in Texas, we have BFCO, which is listed up here. Just to remind you, that's, uh, but first, uh, Coffee Susie Oberholtz. She's down there uh, in all the great save Texas. In Austin, um, RIP Acupunk, um, Pearl Snappy, Freelance Adventure. Oh, sorry, Freelance Adventure, Forever in Our Hearts. Acupunk is still there. Alicia Medley and Scientology uh, won't win in Texas. In Dallas, we have uh, Lone Star Audit. Um, we've got uh, some people that are also doing Houston and San Antonio and Oklahoma and Missouri. Kansas City, we've got Auditing and Scientology, Kansas City Scientology Audit. In Chicago, look at all these people. Trashy, uh, V12, BMW, Chicago Scientology Audit, Nancy Drew Scientology, Chicago, Windy City, Satan Watch, Groovy Witch, The Chitology, Free Xenu Project, Stephanie Slaughters, Scientology Hearings, Cat Ocean, Severe Reality Adjustment, um, Yisro Brownstein in New York. We got Reggie, uh, Smooth Steve, SPTV, and Skyrider in Boston. We've got Cubs Champion 16. Some people are doing double duty here in the other cities. We could use more people there. Uh, St. Louis, we've got Louie, uh, St. Louis Scientology Squirrel, Leaving Scientology, Elron. Uh, Liar91 in Clearwater. Of course, we've got A.A. Ron, uh, Feral Cheryl, Surrounded by Scientology, Spit Clearwater, Lori Plays, Mark Bunker, Magic Mike from CL from Clearwater, Clearing Clearwater, Likely Lost, Dustin Fountain Avenue, uh, Joannigans, and Never in SP. In Canada, uh, we've got Jeff, uh, Dissect, Dissecting Sex. I'm saying that wrong. It's probably French. Uh, Vancouver, of, again, uh, we've got Jeff. We've got Escaping the Cultverse. Uh, Scientology is my ruin in Toronto. MAA, SP Canada, and Cambridge. We need more people. Look at all these uh, places in Canada that aren't covered. In the UK, of course, we've got Kelly Copter, Apostate Alex in London, Trolling Scientology, and Drop Short Media. We need more for the other org areas in Edinburgh. We've got SP Edinburgh. We need an Irish person. We need some Irish representation. Um, in Germany, we've got the German news. They are releasing every bit of their former uh, documentary. Please subscribe to these guys and look at what was going on in the 90s and what's happening now. Um, in Berlin, we've got Hard uh, Metalla uh, in... That's Switzerland, the SP chef. Um, in Australia, we've got Miriam. We've got uh, the Scientology Watcher, Perth Scientology Op Audit in Perth. Um, in Melbourne, we've got um, Aussie K8. And in Sydney, we've got Ophelia 8. Um, so you can get your, your SP TV handouts, posters, everything else. Pup Groomer has a, a whole uh, situation on that. Natalie Webster, of course. Uh, you know, she does her daily updates and then the specific SPTV people, you've got Liz Ferris, Pokemon and Colts, me, uh, leaving Scientology, loving life, uh, degraded daughters, the great Alicia, who's in the chat here, Mike Brown, Jenna Miscavige, Reese, uh, Dylan, Colts and atheists. Oh, God, I don't remember who that is. Okay. And Vanessa, uh, the Holy rogue children of Scientology, of course, um, Scientology triggers coffee, Colts and crafts. Uh, Mama, Mama's Life, Poe on the Go, The Scientology Money Project, Sea Org Audit, Freedom from Religion, Utology, um, 
Steph the Writer, SPTV Never Ends, SPTV Fans, Gems of SPTV. And then these are just other people talking about the abuse um, from time to time, but kind of all the time. Uh, Down the Rabbit Hole, Film the Police LA, that is, of course, Street's other channel. Eat Predators, Doge Landsman, your fr lawyer friend Zach, who's now on the SPTV Foundation board. Nerd Report, Exposing the Bad Actors, Nasty Nathaniel, Angry Gay Pope, Cults to Consciousness, No Culty Vibes, and Deno in Real Life. Um, on this list, the, the diamond is for people like me who were born in or at some point were a member and have escaped. Please, please, please go to this page. I'm sure I butchered some of these names, but the links are all there. Um, and let's let's do let's go here and let's see if we can find somebody i didn't open these up so let's just see um let's look let's see if laura is live right now let's check it let's just see who's live right now if somebody knows who's live let me know i don't know let's see let's go to Let's see if Jessica's live. Usually these guys start later in the day. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. Jessica is currently driving in her car. That's what you she's didn't doing. Read the entire law, Jess. That is not the case. Well, go chalk it up out there then. I just personally am not going to. So she does, she goes to all the places. Oh, selfless self is live. Let's go. Let's go to selfless self. Let me pull, here we go. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Now, what I want to do in the future, guys, is... I want to share a lot more of these streams that are going on because I think it's super important to show. And we've got, oh, look at this. Is that him doing it? Oh, I love that he is graffitiing the ground right now. Now, this is a form of protest. This is artistic protest. Um, protest has many forms, guys. It's not just... Um, marching around and talking or making flyers. It's also art. Um, in, in a conversation I had with uh, Liz Gale today, she reminded me that Banksy is one of the world's most famous now uh, in these times, uh, protest artist, right? And it is so important to remember that we have to protest in all of the ways that are possible because there is no invalid form of protest, right? There is no wrong way to protest. As long as you are raising your voice, okay? And lending your voice to the message, however you do that, whether you stand there physically, you make a video, you, you know, repost a meme, you make a flyer and hand them out, uh, you draw some art and, and put it up somewhere and let people know what it's about. All those are valid. All those are impactful. The The particular piece of Banksy art that Liz and I were talking about is one of his most famous pieces, which is the girl with the red balloon. Does everybody, I'm gonna pull that up here. I'm doing this on the fly guys, um, because here we go. So this is, um, just, I need to pull up a big picture here. Okay. I'm going to pull up an Amazon tab, guys. I apologize. But this is um, this is the girl with the balloon, okay? And um, this is one of his most famous um, things. Now, apparently on Amazon, someone's selling this uh, as a vinyl waterproof sticker, for your car, you know, or your laptop or something, okay? But this is one of the most iconic and most reproduced pieces of protest art. Where did he originally put this? In Gaza. That's where this started. I almost got this as a tattoo because I love it so much. 
So it, it, when I was first getting my first tattoo, this was on the list of things I wanted to tattoo on myself. Um, it, it, his art is so poignant. It lasts forever. This message has literally lasted for well over a decade. Um, and, uh, you know, that's the power of art. That's the power of protesting. So why I bring this up and why, we'll just put this back here for a second. Why I want to talk about that is because what is happening right now is so important. This momentum that we have going is so huge and so monumental that every single ounce of support that can be put behind these type of efforts right here is what we need to be supporting, what we need to be getting behind, okay? And the debate around tactics, how people say things, how they, there's no invalid form of protesting. Everyone, I have a di completely different way of explaining things and a different voice than Aaron. And some of you guys tune into him and me. Some of you only tune into him. That's fine. Got to do because the rest of the outline. There, everybody, and there's gonna I be love this. It's an like escape an, hatch. An it's a cult escape hatch. This is amazing. This is amazing. And, and let me just say that door that is next to you. If you guys go in that door, that's on the AOLA building. If you go hey, in that door and go down, it goes right into the basement and there's a tunnel nice. that goes under that Somebody road, else gave under me that, that brick idea. road, which I helped lay a lot of those bricks, under that brick road, right into the other adjacent building. It Because remember, this used to be the Cedars of Sinai complex and that's how they rolled all the dead bodies around and stuff. It was a hospital, guys. So yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can get a tunnel and it'll go pop yeah, out yeah, right yeah. there at that entrance. Or Shared you can around. go further Norris into that Live. little back Interesting. Thing. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to chat to him and tell him that I'm I'm, I'm sniping. Oh, you retracted your message? <laughs> but uh, whoever you are. <laughs> let me let me tell him. Thank that you. I'm, I'm screen sniping All him. All right. But it's not allowing me access. I'm not sure who that was. Let's see. He's trying to tell Thanks, me. Thanks, Jody Q. How do I get to it here? Let me. There we go. There. Now I told him. And don't forget. Jody guys, Q, $5. Anyone, Thanks all you for do all is you're doing. Click on the like. For some reason, the first them, one. Because it boosts their live. Okay, it boosts it, it gets it out to more people who have never heard of Scientology, who have never seen what's going on. It's totally this useless. And it's so, so, so sorry I can't like her or heart it. It's not allowing me to. <laughs> I'm very much trying. <laughs> Jody Q, thank you for the $5. He's, he's so sweet. Yeah, you can't heart those. But anyway. So let me go through the comments here. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> hey, Nora. How's it going? <laughs> Hope you're well. Yes. Snipe away. <laughs> Let me go through the comments here while I leave this. Cult escape here. hats right here. All Just right. Trying to, trying to give them ideas. Hello, Alicia. Um, I don't know if they'll take uh, them. Yes, I am popping on. Catch them while you, I love those. If you guys have not been to I mean, I don't know how many times I've heard each one of these right songs now. now. And, um, and uh, I don't know what people are talking pretty, about. Pretty, pretty amazing. I'm going to turn him down just a tiny bit. There we go. But they're playing Scientology music in the background, too. So I don't want that to sneak onto this stream. Um, that would be bad. All right. Uh, Chantel, sitting here drinking my coffee in my Oh No Nora, the gay mug. Yes. Please post a picture of that. Guys, I forgot to tell you. Let me pull up another tab here. Uh, big news. I added more. Um, stuff to my store. It's in my tab. Um, oh God, I can't make anything. Work. And you know, the store is live. So please go to the store because it is, let me, let me go here and just show you. So when you're on my store tab here and let's say you're like, well, let's see what else is at the store. I don't know why it's only showing these items, like the same shirt 14 times, whatever YouTube, but here's my store. And if you go to the home thing, Look at all this great stuff. Oh, hey, 
Is there some controlled logical opposition? Yes, there is. Um, I've got phone cases. I've got mugs. I've got shirts. There's hats. There's sweatshirts. There's dog apparel as per request. Um, so please, please come check it out. It's ononora.com. Super easy peasy. Um, only if you want. You don't have to. Um, but it's fun. And so, you know, uh, go ahead. You can um, go there and, and check those things out. I'll post it here. And you guys can check that out. But thank you for getting that mug. Um, and let's go back to PTS uh, for life. Where is he? There he is. Boom. He's drawing. All right. Um, hello, everybody. Good evening. Uh oh, hot dog. Thank you, uh, Pippi Long Stocking Forever. Um, creepy old lady, I wouldn't miss this live for a chance to pull off little Davies to pay. I love that. Hi, Nora, and hello, chat from uh, Marina. Thank you for being a member. Feral Cheryl, hello, lovelies. Yes, hello back to you, Gregory Nitsky. Nora on um, Africa time. Ironically, I'm here in Africa. Wow. Well, hello in Africa. Which country are you in um, in Africa? I would love to know. Um, hey, Carrie Ann, thank you for being a member. Hey, everyone. It's a beautiful day in Portland today. It is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning um in portland today it is gorgeous 72 degrees and then uh carrie ann's gonna be 52 tomorrow because that's uh the world we live in um greg in the ski again one word for you apartheid i lived it oh crap well uh donkey as as you say thank you in in sudafrica um, I only know some really bad things in Afrikaans because the people I was on the RPF with just told me a lot of swears. Um, they're fun, but not appropriate. And I don't feel that way about you. So I won't repeat those. Um, Natalie VB Light Breeze, thank you for becoming a member. Amazing. And memberships are open too, guys, if you want. Um, there's three different levels. I've opened a private Discord for to interact at the CLO level the controlled logical opposition level. Um, and, uh, you know, there'll be uh, some prime content coming uh, for members as well. Uh, Nancy Tyler Hess, uh, here with you from Alaska. Hi, hello to Alaska. The sins <clears throat> of Scientology coming soon. Hi, everyone. Hello back. Fluffer Squirrel UK. I just uh, promoted you uh, in the chat. In the, in the live here, I hope you're getting lots of subscribes and thank you so much for putting all this info together. I mean, honestly, it is teamwork, dream work. Uh, absolutely, 100%. Um, Arkansas Flamingo. Yay, caught alive with my spirit animal, the funny, smart, hilarious snark. Love you so much. I love you back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's do it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Apple yeah. did it for me. Yes. Corn Freak. 80, uh, 4874. Wow. Dyslexia kicked in there. Sorry about that. Thank you for being a member. Uh oh, know, hot dog. Mew this, the gay wackadoodle the protesting in Chicago and around. no plan I've, I've on stopping. Like if I didn't know the value, I would never have gone there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Strike. Thank you for that. From Swedish well, so Lena. Good morning, everyone from Australia. Well, hello from Australia. <clears throat> Alicia. Um, it's history in the making. I'm so happy and proud to see and have been a small part of it. I protested a bit as a young child for Scientology. This to me is full circle. It's beautiful and powerful. Uh, Alicia, we got to get together one time. Uh, all of us who have participated in CCHR protests and things like that. And we got to talk about that because Scientology puts on its own protests, guys. It gets its celebrities to go out and say, uh, yeah, no mean, more drugging of children. Well, yes, but they're totally that, fine with them working, you know, 60-hour, 70-hour like work weeks. But don't give them, you know, uh, uh, you know, any type of psychiatric treatment. That's not okay. Let's see here. Eve May Corinne. Hello? Oh, hello from the so, Netherlands. I'm gonna mess that up. I'm. I do not but, uh, speak I, you know, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> wonderful to listen to your voice, thoughts, and wisdom. Have a great yeah. live and thanks. Life's uh, leaves, yeah, like yeah. is a leaf. Yeah. Hello, ut Nederland. I hope I said that right. I love it. I'm. A, I gotta learn some more languages. I really do. 
Um, Law Nerd Fan, thank you for being a member. So excited to catch you live. I learned so much from you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Kiki and Two Cats, thank you for becoming a member. And uh, Jinsaki, uh, yay, I caught a live. Yes, you did. Corn Freak, uh, 4874. Auntie Shiro, hello, lovely. Uh, this is a yeah, lot of chat stuff. Um, but Corn Freak, uh, do do send me a DM about Corn. Uh, my kid wants to go to a concert. Let me know if they should go. They're only 15. All right. Degrade Dart, y'all go hit the like and subscribe. Please, 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 please do. Lori Place, thanks for supporting all those protesting. Listen, the progress that's happening, <coughs> pardon me, right now wouldn't be happening without all those people. I wouldn't. Um, nice. Big things are going to happen, guys, and it's happening because of no. I will this. Don't, don't worry. That's because what of what I do you're seeing right here. Galactic day. Because the, of what's happening the every number, night. Number the name, call this. That's why it's happening. Stuff, like, and it's only going to get bigger. I'm with you, though. it's only going to get big. If you look the Scottish at the streams, Scouser. Hi, from Scotland. I did it in front of uh, the, uh, in, in, you know, uh, Hollywood Boulevard uh, Information Center yesterday. <laughs> I mean, last night. And I did William it Peterson. Summer wants me to do more Scottish. Yeah, no, William no, Peterson, no. the current protests are creating an overwhelming yes, game of whack-a-mole for OSA. Correct. It drains Scientos' resources unlike yeah, any other organization. You can tell they are struggling. Blah, 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 they are on the struggle bus. Us. Guys, they are uh, on the struggle bus. This is no doubt. The the In 2024, okay, so make money any way you can as long as it's so not harmful to anyone but the Church of Scientology. <laughs> Why so. the bitch over YouTube money? <laughs> Honey, I don't more know. More than I knew. Renee, I don't know. Well, it's like I encourage, I please, go make, uh, uh, most of like these guys are making more money than me and I am applauding it. Please go do it. I don't have a problem with anybody. I want everybody to make money and be happy. Why can't we just all do that? That doesn't make no sense to me. Oh no, hot dog. Uh, Nora providing some word clearing for the world's greatest fact checker, <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, if Stephanie wants to call me and you know get some info and figure out what the real deal is here, I am a hundred p. Willing to, you know, educate her on that and give her the strategy that she and the rest of that foundation should be following. Um, Anonymous was brilliant. What a time in history. Yes. 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 -y. Lythandia uh, Graukling, proud Fleaboard warrior. Hello, everyone. Hello back to you. Hello, Parallel Jen. Fluffer Squirrel. It does exist in Germany. Oh, Oh, somebody's auditing in Berlin. Okay, well, you know, they did get kicked out for a while. Maybe they brought it back, but there was a whole thing. But yeah, I, I'm glad to see uh, people attacking it in Germany. Comment, the Vietnam War protests not only ended the war, they permanently yeah, ended the draft. That is correct. I think the anti-Scientology yeah, right. protests will change the laws game. protecting all tax-exempt cults from investigation. If you're lurking as a Scientologist. From your words, creepy old lady. To Stephanie Slaughter's the government's ears. North. That okay. was Stephanie Slaughter's that said that. <laughs> Donna, yay, caught alive. Oh man, we love and hugs, out. Nora. The gay. Really that is me. He's I am the gay. Huge. Thank you. Oh wow. Stopping by to support Nora before I have to pick up the kids. Well, Banner thank time. you, thank you, Dylan, and have fun with your kids. Knit Pearl. Uh, thank you for being a member. And thank you, Donna, for being a member. Okay, so, um, hello. Then, uh, oh, hot dog. Yes, absolutely. Oh, but uh, Diana Johnson, good Lord have mercy. We need the uh, Foundation a, 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 a Church of Scientology here. terms dictionary. Okay. So today, guys, I found that online. And I will give you the, the, the deets. And I'll put it in the chat. Uh, believe it or not, somebody took the took the time to put it all online. And this is just the technical terms. I'll have to find the admin terms because there's two different dictionaries. But this is the technical terms dictionary. And there, it, it really does exist. And you have to learn all these things. And they are, if you want to dive into that, guys, whack a doodle arama okay? Trust. Trust that that is um, super cuckoo kachoo. Okay, so let's 
we'll go back number to that there we go no 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 not aftermath sorry sorry tripping definitely. and now and now uh definitely SPGP <laughs> foundation absolutely and now Selfless Self is putting down the um, SPTV Foundation's phone number on the sidewalk there, which is unbelievably brilliant. Um, and uh, we'll pull that up here in a minute. Uh, Bullbanks, love Nora's delivery. Thank you for that. Sue B, thank you for being a member. Morning, everyone. Alicia, again, they probably looked at him as a DBSP. Yeah. Uh, Diana Johnson, whack-a-doodle, yeah, 100%, 100%. Alicia says, whole lot of <laughs> scratch and fleas and DBs. Uh-huh. Scientology Off the Rails says, Streets was doing Cop Watch prior to son's death. The story about why he started with Scientology is a little different than what I said. It's a funny story. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I messed that up. That's my version of events. Uh, but I will I will go back and review those videos and and get it straight because I want to tell the straight scoop. But it, the part of the story I didn't get wrong is instead of talking to him and instead of like having an actual human to human conversation, they Scientology him and now he's in it to win it. So I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done that knowing what um, I, I did, you know, what we do. So um, Abdazzle, best trend ever. Yes, yes. Um, and, uh, Jinsaki again, uh, Dr. Who Heather, thanks for your help. Much appreciate. Okay. Well, good job, Heather. Thank you. Uh, salacious, solicitous. Why did I say salacious? That's not the right word, but Nora, I heart you back. I heart you back. Thank you. Uh, Mena, thank you for being a member and you're correct. Hashtag kids cannot consent. Uh, this needs to be posted everywhere around the world, uh, and three times to basically get that message out and say, no, thank you. No, they cannot. Um, and it needs to, it needs to stop. It needs to absolutely, um, positively be ended. If, if only just for that reason. Solo Dove. They don't allow access to the internet, to followers. So what's going to hurt them the most is the internet, social media versus Scientology. Guess who's going to lose? I'm trying to understand your comment here, Solo Dove. Well, we're not going to lose. But um, they do, the, the followers do have internet. Just the people inside that are working, the workers don't have internet. Okay. When you're out seeing the money and doing stuff, you're allowed to have television and internet, but they, uh, you know, they do tell you, don't look at the news. Don't Google Scientology. And they encourage you to only go to certain, um, sites and, and sources, right. Which we've seen like when Aaron interviewed those choir people, as they were leaving, that woman very strictly told him like, I don't watch the news. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because they don't get to see any of the outside world. How, how often do you get to see your sister then? Okay, right. How much of the outside world are they allowed to see? That is a lie. No, absolutely, that is not true. Okay. Because... Education's happening. I personally know many survivors of this, people that were in since the 70s, and that is completely untrue. This is a real conversation. You're, you're giving your information. That is not true. I am talking to you. You're talking to like 100 other people in your head. That you can't, why are you telling me what I am thinking? That is disrespectful. Right, you're t but you're telling me what I'm thinking, okay? Okay. Well, and you're entitled to that, but it is disrespectful in a conversation to impose your thoughts upon somebody else's mental process. Sir, I am giving you my information, which is saying, in, in ref I'm not saying what you're thinking. I'm refuting your knowledge claims. This is what debate is, okay? Not really. This if, is education. Not, no, no, no. If you're going to, if you're going to say, if you're going to say to me, 
that I'm coming at you with a hunt. Now, this is probably something you picked up on course that I'm speaking to a hundred other people that I'm I have a hundred other thoughts in my, well, because I don't have a he looks flat just affect. That's what he's trying to right? say. A flat affect, which you have achieved through this coursework, which is closer to sociopathy than humanity. He doesn't even know what sociopathy means, guys. No, I'm an expressive, dynamic person. I'm a performing artist. Un untrue. Am I reacting to your, to your words? Am I? Yeah, yeah I am. So this no, is that is not debate. true. I have a flexible he's trying, response. He's trying I mean, to certainly, get him to we grow. all have our own preferences and agendas. Eating we, some food. I'm not sure. I can't say one way or the other. I don't know. I mean, this is, came to me with a lot of upset. And I don't. See, that's a Scientology word. Yes, of course we're upset because this is a criminal organization that destroys lives. Lives are on the line. That's why we're upset because oh. it destroys it destroys now children. Now you have children. You have children that are giving auditing sessions, right? To grown men, to grown men who are sexual assaulters, okay? That's disgusting and a crime, okay? And as somebody that knows something about abuse, I would say, yes, I have a huge amount of upset, and that's not a bad thing. I'm that's surprised how that no one has get come the by energy, to pick this step kid up, out to get him and to get change away the world. Scientology himself. is changing jack shit. They aren't changing awesome. anything, okay? And their numbers are plummeting. There used to be Scientologists crawling all over this place, all over it. Right, walking up and down freely. You don't see any of that. This dilapidated building, they can't even up keep the windows. These windows are like 30 years old, right? Right, they used to have people working out here, doing the gardening, doing all of this stuff. 20 years ago, it was a completely different scene. It is a ghost look at him town looking, right now. Look at him looking around at it, trying to find anyone else out there with him. No, I've been here for over a week and I've been watching these live streams for months. It is dead. And also, the, the other survivors, again, that have, that were in throughout the 70s, they say exactly the same thing. They were here in the heyday. It's a ghost town. You're in a relic of last century. Like what? Like when they, they push you on certain things, when they say, when they recommend things, but it's your point where it becomes like... Like recommending what? Different, different courses, different things. And like it's, oh, so they're pressuring you into spending money? Okay, let's oh, oh. So, no, no, I'm saying you you didn't like it, and so it's a, it's, it's a question. Okay. Yeah, they... They don't really care, though. Listen, you can you can you can respond. There's a lot of people I can tell that really want to help. That really want to give people better mental health. Better. Yeah. Better. 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 And so they want to give you the most services. Yeah, I understand. But there's there's points where I don't want those services, and they once I tell them that they respect me, and I do the services that I want to do. What gains have you gotten from these courses? Well, one of the, well, the gains I've gotten from the course I'm doing right now is uh, successful communication course. Uh, I feel like I'm just a lot more intentional with my speaking. I don't really get, like, I don't use, like, it doesn't matter. Like, um like, is super intelligent people use um and er to gather their thoughts yeah, say it, it is stage. only yeah, say yeah. it on the stage and see how you sound, you sound pretty stupid. yeah again but that's not everywhere and so what it's they're trying to what but what just, they're trying to do but i you, you interrupted me just you, three times okay but i could play it back what game i got and then you interrupted me while i was saying my game my game is that now in what way? 
I can communicate more. Um, like one of the things is like I have to have the words in my head before I speak. So like I would try and speak and just can't formulate it, but I've already out in the world, and that would cause me to stutter. That would cause me to. Mumble. But you don't that need these people to, to do that this. Would cause me to not be able to continue to speak when someone's interrupting me. And when somebody's trying to talk over me, that's it doesn't matter. It, 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 it does. No, you can like, learn these skills right. anywhere. And yeah, you're not yeah, more yeah. powerful yeah. from yeah. doing yeah. this. Yeah. And if you're saying, if you can be clear with somebody talking over you, are you afraid of being interrupting you? Because I'm not afraid. When, when did I say I was afraid? Or why are you in any way perturbed by me interrupting you? This is the longest conversation, guys, that I have seen uh, ever. Right, but it, no, seriously, if you guard really have this superpower, what's the deal? What's the problem? Stopping. And this kid has done nothing in Scientology. He's literally. So what are you going? What are you going to use this for? They don't recognize because you could take any other course outside of this predatory cult to, to get the same abilities. Um, you know, uh, because you were talking over me while I was finishing my sentence. This conversation because he can't answer the questions, he doesn't really know. He's not an educated uh, Scientologist, like at all. You don't need this for business in any way. I know, I know extremely successful people, I know billionaires and millionaires who would never go anywhere near this place, anywhere near it. Dr. Who Heather's providing that for you, okay. And it's most of the world. How many Scientologists do you think there are in the world? It's 20 to 30,000. No, there are not. That is a lie. Why was there 20 to 30,000 people at an event I was at? Because they bust them in from all over the country and the world. We've seen the same people at the Ideal Org opening in Austin, the same people coming in to bus at the Ideal Org org opening in chicago the same people it's a lie i was there i know what i'm talking about i was there oh they tried not to let anybody see anything that was going on and they got the police on their side and they paid them off well no certainly it seems like you may not and it would be a good idea if you looked at any information that was actually critical a Scientology to try to balance the one against the other because oh, it doesn't. I in that too. I totally well, I would I would ask you that to avail yourself of the publicly available information so online. So, guys, the capacity for the shrine. I'm not saying we don't. We're human beings. Is six thousand three hundred. Six thousand three hundred. No, we're close to twenty thousand people. Okay, and. It wasn't even full. It wasn't even full. 6,300, and it wasn't even full. Um, Fluffer Squirrel. Well, I would say Scientology's data is pretty weak. Most channels, of their, most of their, get their hours to utter and total failures. I'll do some rich L. Ron Hubbard was a convicted freaking felon and a fraud. He was kicked out of a bunch of countries because he pissed off a bunch of people because he tried to manipulate a bunch of people as they're manipulating you. Scientology preys upon the weak, preys upon seekers, people who are heartbroken, people who are looking for answers. And in the place of that, that desire, they sell you a course, they sell you a book. When any friend, any good person can give you these things for free. They put it in buildings. Yes, they do. No, yes, they do. They, they're cash poor and asset rich. Oh, they have you. billions of dollars Martin in buildings. Why they have it in buildings is because if you're a religious uh, nonprofit right, organization, so if you're a religious right. nonprofit organization, you need to use a certain percentage of the money that you take in from donations someone, for either uh, religious services or charitable works. You know that's that the, the that's the law. They Having don't the research, do they chose enough not for their the billions of dollars. And so what they do with that money, they park it in buildings that remain empty. The Chicago org, $200 million building, under 10% occupancy, right? They're just using it as a tax shelter. He's thinking about all these things that he's being told Because they about. don't have people. I've seen a ton of charity. I've done charity myself. Right. You know what? Hezbollah does charity. 
right? All religious organizations of a fundamental nature do charity. Do Hezbollah, Hamas does charity. Okay. Fluffer squirrel. No, but I, I'm you telling you, religious no, no, organizations not. being charitable isn't just a good thing. It's a PR Natalie, cover. Natalie, thank you for becoming a member. Oh my goodness, guys, this is overwhelming. Um, I love how like you, I mean, what it, it, it went live with self self. You yes, it does. Only no, they're not. They turned up for vandalism called by the Church of Scientology. Wow, I did miss that. I'm sorry. Yeah, what like, well, 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 like a couple days. Scientology and all its billions of dollars. Why don't they just open this place up to feed people? Why isn't there a soup kitchen right here? Like, because Catholic churches, Presbyterian churches, Baptist churches, they have soup kitchens. They have food drives. They have clothing drives. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's see. And, uh, Tunturi, thank yeah, you. yeah, just to just to make yourself look good. And so it looks like you're doing something with the PPE money that the federal government is investigating the church for mishandling. Yep. The variety of different types of protesters is what makes this so exciting. I am. I, I, yes. I know you're a person. And I'm just a person who got some pretty good data and tools from a course. That I like to use in my Thank you, Sardonic, for becoming a new member. I wish that Just you would try to avail yourself of actual okay. education. Might have to put the puppies uh, in this. Tools. Alicia. Maybe go to a community college and see if you can take a public you speaking know, course. You know how crazy public colleges are. You walk oh! Out, oh, I do? This no, I don't. I just college. graduated summa cum laude from a public university. That is the highest honor that you can get. I had a nearly perfect score on all of my coursework <laughs> for psychology. Uh oh, uh oh, now he's gonna run. Oh, psychology. Donna became a YouTube member. Thank you. Psychologists are crazy. And you I don't know what you're talking about. Becoming a member. You don't know what you are talking about. No. It's always about drugs. Not always. all the time. But a lot of the time. Not oh my God. all the time. And not a lot of the time. Oh my goodness. I'm keep scrolling, guys. Thank you, Nancy Stegan, for becoming a member. Uh, it's not true. Ten gifted memberships from Annika Spias. Thank you. That's everybody I know. Thank you for becoming a I'm just saying, person. in general, your this assertion is you not true. Anecdotal evidence. Anecdotal, anecdotal evidence does not make yeah, something I true. I'm this saying make me a that snappy also. your I'm anecdotal evidence, your Otherwise, personal I'm evidence, evidence does not generalize. Well, do you want me to cite? No, like yeah, peer-reviewed like studies me, you guys we'll figure it out great conversation to have Nora. no political investment is a wrong one john paul Smart well the thing is right here i'm not going to be able to provide you with chapter and verse annual conversation on the street that is an obvious dodge of having a conversation on the street where you're asking me to provide you with paper that i do not have in my hand heather See, I told you I was sort of citing the source material. That wasn't enough. You said that I had to be on course to know what the courses were about. It, I mean, it, it's it's all of the OT levels. It's all the way up the bridge. They were all published in 2004. They were all, and they're on WikiLeaks to this day. Okay, plus all of the nonprofit organizations that Scientology uses as front groups, basically to bring people in surreptitiously into the church, like their stupid educational um, organizations for kids, right? Narconon, which is an utter failure for drug treatment for people, utter, you're, like, location stuff. Just like, wow. no, it's not. You are believing something somebody told you without researching it. And you would be failed out of a course for doing that. You would be failed out of a course for not doing what? research other than 
other than taking the word of this organization. So I would, I would recommend you look, you look this stuff up for yourself. Very much. That is also a logical fallacy. I don't know. You should really educate yourself, sir, because it seems like you're dealing plainly in logical fallacies. I know how. And you're just a bunch of dodges to get out of a conversation and techniques to try to override and take control of a conversation. I, just, I messaged, not I messaged selfless power, self, but I don't think you see any of my messages. Intel. I don't know this thing for glibness. That's I don't what I would care. do on right now. Plunk for glibness. <laughs> oh, no, he's going to leave. I don't care what I sound like to you. Get out of this cult. Get out of this cult, sir. Get out of this cult. Good job. Get out of this cult, sir. I've been to 20 countries playing concerts in front of 20,000 people. What do you got? I've played in front of 20,000 people. Beans, thank what you do for you becoming got? a member. I played in front of 20,000 people. What do you got? What do you got? What do you, what have you done with your life? I would just recommend going back to five What have you done with your life, sir? Hey there from uh, Montana. What I have you protest, done? But there's no uh, Church of Scientology here. Any ideas? Ooh. I'll get back to you on that. I gotta look I've got to look at I've got one. There's got to be somewhere around there. I've got one. Because I'm sure they've got a, a secret base there. Kiss your mother with that mouth? Is Ooh. that what we're doing? <laughs> wow. The variety of protest styles is so fantastic. You never know what will hit someone. Absolutely, Diana B. Absolutely. That kid caught me on a bad day. I really didn't like the cut of his jib. I don't know why you kept talking to him. I was like, the second I heard him. Oh, Jessica's there too. The second I heard him start talking, I knew immediately that he was just, he was sent out to distract us from him. That's fine. I, uh. Sometimes you gotta entertain yourself. I do it sometimes. Oh, pretty much. But he caught me on a bad day. Cause, uh, I could have been kinder to that person. And I, and I generally wish to, uh -oh. but, um. I believe right off the bat he started insulting my intelligence and it just made me angry. And, uh, you know, denying, like, my computer's about to die, guys. Hang on. There we go. I saved it. I saved it. I saved it from the depths of despair. So, let's. Oh. I went backwards, guys. All right. What we're going to do. Is I'm going to remove this. It's just going to be me for a second. Let me finish up these comments because, believe it or not, guys, I got to go. I've got a meeting tonight, and I am uh, doing some fun things. So let's say here, um, from Solicitous, I am halfway through White Man Fascist Group. I've always called it the Good Old Boys Club. Also, I have a channel, too, from Canada. Um, I love your passion. At Solicitous dash l please go subscribe to solicitous um hi from ottawa canada the org here is kind of dead not in a good area of town there was a location downtown but i have no idea what happened to it no tax exempt or religious recognition here um they're probably just letting it sit honestly because the reason as pearl snappy um, so wonderfully, uh, found out is the reason why they're opening all these orgs so quickly here in America, just bop it, bop it, bop it, bop. These buildings have been sitting for a long time too, but they're about to lose their tax exemption in those places unless it's an active location. So it's all about taxes and real estate funds and that whole scam. So yeah. Well, hello there in Limeport, Glasgow. Um, if you never sent it. Hello. Hello to Limeport, Glasgow. Um, saw Davy Mismanage interview Angry Gabe Hope. <laughs> uh, AGP said the Church of Scientology doesn't know how to handle the relentless organic growth of the streamers. No, they do not. They do not. Um, yeah. He does. He looks like the age of one of my kids too. He he's definitely young. He's definitely young. Um, yeah, you guys. That was um, 
let's see here. I heard something interesting last night. If you want to break Stockholm syndrome, you must show the captors you are not good people. That causes the thought process to kick back in. Interesting. Okay. Okay. This weekend. Oh, sorry. That was from Catherine Churchill. This weekend, uh, Mary Reno, uh, she was able to spend time with all six of my adult kids in the same place at the same time. Oh my God, that's amazing. Um, I had tears, some of joy from my kids, also sad tears for the second gens who can't do this. Yeah. There's a lot of us who don't have that privilege. Absolutely, Mary. I'm glad you had a good time. Um, the 2021 census found there were 1,844 Scientologists in England and Wales, a decline of almost 24% in a decade. Yeah, this guys, it's ridiculous that they're trying to like pass this off. Um, yeah, they, they have to bust people in guys. Yes. Because there's not enough in any one area to fill the seats. Okay. So they bust in from, uh, Miss Bramlett Jr. They bust in relatable Reese's dad and stepmom to Chicago's opening from, from Kansas city, Missouri. Uh, they live in, oh, they live in Tennessee. Oh my God. There were also a lot of cars with Florida and California license plate. I, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. Uh, the Nana Boss audits and investigations. Thank you for becoming a member. Rice and beans is not a meal. I know you could. We could have said that to him. Um, in Ireland over the last few years, but there were only eighty-seven people who described themselves as Scientologists. Well, we got to save those eighty-seven people, guys. We got to get them out, and we got to close whatever's still there as an organization. Um. Oh my goodness. I have to read this on the other side. Mocked Mirdo Chagall. Thank you for becoming a new member. Vintage uh, Mama F3, thank you for your super chat. Can someone please send me a store link? It is not in the tabs. It shows only, oh, yes. I will, uh, or Summer, can you put a store link in the chat there? I don't know what's up. Some people were telling me they couldn't see it and other people could see it. So that's, um, I don't know why that's doing that. Uh, but the store name is super easy. It's ononora.com and you can just go right there. Ononora.com. Um, I wonder what his reaction would be if self brought up Lisa McPherson. He probably didn't know he's too young. He wouldn't even, he was like, you know, in kindergarten if he was even born then. Um, I need more merch. Okay. I, I, I just put a whole bunch in there and there's the link. Ononora.com. You can go to there. It is open for the business. I don't know. I hit something maybe. Um, let me go and scroll down. Did all that, did all that, did that. Okay, here we are. Uh, Jenny Chi, thank you for becoming a new member. Does my story, oh, I think it delivers outside of the US. I'm pretty sure it does, but I'll check on the back end. Thank you, Mena, for bringing that up. All right, and we're at the end of the comments, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and let's do what we can to support, uh, the protest. What company did I use? I used uh, Printify and Shopify. If there's a better company, um, I'm willing to do that. That's just what I set it up with. Um, and that's, that's who it's going through. Um, but thank you guys for grabbing memberships, gifting memberships, tuning in. Um, I love you guys so much. This has been super fun. Um, we're going to have more content later. We're going to have more content uh, later on this week. And as always, thank you to Summer Savage and Dr. Who Heather, my fabulous admins who are here to help out. And I will see you guys on the flippity dippity. <laughs>